in ancient China, rooted in their Confucianism, along pathways, trails. Every once in a while, you'd come to a, a gateway, just a gateway. We just sort of stand there. Yeah. And that gateway was to align you to your lead, to your way. In design, we have a gate, the 10th gate, the gate of the lead. This is the gate of behavior, the gate of the behavior of the self in the world. And the beauty of these gateways along these pathways is that you would get to that gateway and you would stand in the gateway. You would stand in the perfection of the existential moment with the past behind you and the future in front of you. Attuning you to your way, to your lead. Giving you an opportunity to fix your position. The behavior of the self in the world. The tenth gate is also a gate of love, of self-love or not. And you see, when your way is clear, that self-love is something that grows out of the trust in your process. Every human being has the right to live their way, their unique way, their differentiated way. And all it takes is learning how to behave in the world as yourself. You do that through strategy and authority. It aligns you to the perfection and that at any moment you can stand with the imaginary gate and you can see the validity of what it means to be you and to be you on this plane as yourself. Truly something that is beautiful. Your way, your behavior, through your strategy and authority.